What is up everybody and welcome back to another Among Us video and in this video I'll be telling you about my encounter with Sairi Sorrel, who is known as one of the biggest hackers in all of Among Us. I pretended to be Sairi Sorrel and he found my lobby and you won't believe what happened next. And before we get any further into this video I do want to mention that 70% of you have not hit that subscribe button which means that you're missing out on Among Us Darkest Secrets. So make sure that you hit that subscribe button with all post notifications turned on and drop a like on this video if you do enjoy. But now let's begin with my encounter with Sairi Sorrel. Let's get started. So while I was playing Among Us, I had the idea that I should pretend to be Sairi Sorrel. And the reason I was doing this was to troll a few players. But as I was playing, I managed to encounter Sairi Sorrel. And he managed to hack the entire lobby. He was walking through walls, teleporting, and he had kill hacks. And he also had the ability to change people's names. This was by far one of the craziest games that I've ever played, and I'm here to tell you everything that happened. So I had my name as Sairi Sorrel, and I was in a random public lobby. And as I moved towards the center of the dropship, I saw a player standing right outside. The player had the same outfit as Sairi Sorrel, and we were both the red color. But I was unable to see his username, so I wasn't sure if that was him. So I opened up the chat and asked a question, Sairi Sorrel, is that you? So the mysterious the mysterious player responded back and said, Hello Chari. But if you look at his username, his name was Sairi Sorrel. So both of us had the same color, the same skin, and the same username. Sairi Sorrel then responded back to me and said, I am back. And if you didn't know already, they banned the player Sairi Sorrel from all Among Us servers. So I responded with how? He ignored my question and said, you like my hacks? And if we close the chat and look outside, this man is literally outside of the dropship. So yeah, he probably is hacking. So when the match started, we didn't even spawn around the table. But you can see that there is two Sairi Sorrels, and I was one of them. So I left to go do my task and I realized that the entire map was flipped. I tried my best to ignore it so I just did my medbay scan. The lights turned off and I was really scared that the hacker would appear right behind me. So I tried my best to move around the map. I looked around the map because I was just so amazed that Sairi Sora was able to do this. As I made my way from lower engine up to reactor, Sairi Sora randomly teleported right in front of me. I stared at him and I was so amazed. I am playing with the real Sairi Sorrel. So I started to chase him down because I wanted to see what he was up to. And maybe I can catch him hacking once again. But when he realized I was following him, the lights turned off and he teleported. So I started to look around the cafeteria to see if I could spot Sairi Sorrel. And the lights kept flickering. And that is when Sairi Sorrel appeared from Med Bay and started to chase me down. I tried my best to run away from him because I was afraid that he was gonna kill me. Luckily, I was able to find Orange's dead body, and I escaped Sairi Sorrel, and I know he was trying to kill me. In the voting session, you could see that there is two Sairi Sorrels, and I just find that so strange. And I typed in the chat, how is this even possible? And why is the whole map flipped? Sairi Soro responded to my message and said I made it possible. The voting session ended and nobody was ejected. As I was trying to escape the cafeteria, the doors were all closed. And that is when bundles killed me. I opened up the chat and I said, why do I even play Among Us anymore? The imposters ended up winning this game. But my encounter with Sairi Soro doesn't end there. I joined another Among Us lobby and the same players were here once again. And started to believe that maybe my account is hacked, since everyone keeps following me. I opened up the chat and I asked Sairi Sorrel, are you just gonna follow me everywhere? He responded with, yes, I do not like you. I responded with, what did I ever do? He then said, you will see what I have planned for you. I let him know, this is why nobody likes you. And he sent that same smiley face that he always sends. The match started and I was the imposter. But it wasn't just me, it was me and Sairi Sorrel. I didn't expect to team up with him today. I started to walk around the map to pretend to do some tasks. Luckily, Sairi Sorrel made the map look normal again. Sairi Sorrel then teleported through a wall and killed Black. So I killed Brown as well. The body was reported by Purple and nobody was able to vote. This may be the first time that I can get a win with Sairi Sorrel. So I was trying my best to be a good imposter. As if I didn't kill in front of two crewmates earlier. I then walked around the map to pretend like I was doing something. 
and Cyan called a meeting. The voting session ended once again. When I spawned in, Sayurisora was nowhere to be seen until you randomly teleported. As I left the cafeteria, Sayurisora started to walk through walls. This is probably the craziest encounter that I've ever had with the player, since I am facing one of the biggest hackers in Among Us. Before I could get my hopes up, Sairi Soro killed me, but I was an imposter with him, so it made no sense. How did an imposter kill an imposter? So I opened up the chat and I said, How? The imposter killed me. Sairi Soro responded with, That's what I can do. I was forced to be a ghost and it was really boring. But as I made my way over to the left side of the map, I could see some bodies, and Sairi Sora was walking through walls. I really don't understand why he didn't just let me live. Somebody sent a message in the chat, and Sairi Sora said, Hi Chari, how can you read my messages if I'm a ghost? He then responded with, I am the god of Among Us. Before I could type up my response, Sairi Sora won the game. So I guess you can say I managed to win a game with Sairi Soro. I would consider that an accomplishment. It was now the third round. And this is definitely the craziest game of Among Us that I've ever played. When I spawned into a new lobby, there were three reds. But that's not the crazy part. We all have the same username. There was three Sairi Soros in the game now. I walked around the dropship in disbelief. There is no way I see three Sairi Soros in my lobby. People were freaking out in the chat and I said that there's three Sairi Soros. I don't know what to say. While I was chatting with the crewmates, I didn't even realize that a bunch of players joined. And what I was about to witness was something so terrifying. When I closed the chat, almost everyone in the dropship was named Sairi Sorrel. People started to leave the lobby, and that is when everyone's username turned to a bunch of O's, and our names changed to Sairi Sorrel. I have been playing Among Us for several months, and I've never seen this before. Everyone that would join the lobby, their name would change. People in the chat were also freaking out and were wondering why their name was changing. I added an additional comment and said, everyone is Sairi Soro. Sairi Soro responded with, yeah. And I said, he's the biggest hacker in all of Among Us. I wanted to warn people what they were getting into. The match started and I was imposter once again with Sairi Soro. Hopefully this time he doesn't kill me. When we all spawned in, I looked everywhere and everyone had the same name. But the thing that caught my eye was that there were three Sairi Soros with the same outfit and color. And back in the dropship, one of them just had the color but not the outfit. So that means that Sairi Sora has the ability to give other players skins in the middle of matches. Now I understand why they call him the God of Among Us. I walked around the map and the map was once again flipped. While I was in lower engine and reactor, the two other Sairi Soros were with me. I really don't know how they're finding me. And that is when Sairi Sora killed me for the second time. Why can't he just let me live? I opened up the chat and Sairi Sora said mwahaha. I then asked him the question, why do you keep doing that? And he let me know that he hates me. I then asked him the question, will you keep doing this? And he said yes. Sairi Sora ended up winning the game. And before I could enter another match, my game crashed. And I saw an image of Sairi Soro, which was the same image that I saw back in Mira HQ when I opened the file. Looks like I have made a terrible mistake. If you would like me to continue the story between me and Sairi Soro, let's see if we can get this video to 20,000 likes. I do also want to give a massive shout out to Kitty King for helping me produce this video. If you would like to help out a smaller creator, make sure to go check out his channel and subscribe to him. And if you're new to the channel and want to see more Among Us story videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button with all post notifications turned on. And check out one of these Among Us story videos that I found on my channel.